Hello and welcome back to the Dragon Josh Podcast. I'm Jacob. I'm Trevor. It's Kirk again. It's the and, next episode. Um, yeah, we started drinking and we started playing Risk. We're actually in the middle of the game of the Risk. Um, it's a good game so far. Kirk is dominating so far. Me and Jacob have an armistice. The The underdog has risen above. Um, I, usually use, I usually lose. Yeah, but he has taken all of South America and all of... North America. North America. The Western Hemisphere is mine. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, but today we watched the, which episode was it? Little Sibling. Yeah. It was a pretty good episode. Oh, no, actually, it was Was terrible. it, though? I thought it was better than the last one. I, I disagree. I disagree as well. Okay, interesting. It's, I thought it was weak. I thought it was a not funny episode. It was, it was just. That's fair. It was not, there was no laugh out loud moments. Like last episode. No, we, I could see that. We I had see, at least one or too. two laugh out loud moments last episode. Nothing this time. Yeah. I don't like the kid either. Kid was kid, kid was weird. I like the kid in the, th- I like the kid for the fact that he liked Josh. Well, it was a nice Josh centric episode. Yeah, it was heartwarming. It was supposed to be a Drake centric. It was supposed to be a heartwarming episode. Yeah, it was a little heartwarming. It showed the brotherly love. Yeah, for sure it did. You know, and you know at the core of it, they do love each other. Yeah, they're uh, they're best friends. So it starts out with so, uh, Josh cracking some nuts in a bowl and Drake is IMing four girls at once and he says specifically and he's IMing. Pizza crust. This is back when you would say something like I'm IMing people. I thought he said instant messaging. He did say instant messaging. Instant messaging. He didn't yeah. even say I am. He said instant messaging people. Yeah. Um which, which you even, wouldn't say, right? You would say I am. Yeah. You wouldn't even say that though. You'd well, say, nowadays, no, you'd, you'd say, say PM if anything. No, I am, no, I am was back in the day. No, I'm saying but I'm talking modern time. Oh, though. modern Modern, modern time DM. would be either text, DM, that's right. text or DM, yeah. Yeah. On Reddit, PM, right? Private message. It's still DM. Uh, no, Direct yeah, message? no. People, people. Everyone use just personal, says DM people now. Use personal message. Personal message. Yeah, message. but everyone just says DM. Yeah, so. down in the DM. Slide in those DMs. What he's doing though, really, is like, t- I mean, I guess it's not texting because he was probably on AOL, right? He was probably on definitely. AIM. AIM. So he was probably on AIM. AIM. Yeah. AIM. Yeah. AIM for sure. But that's still instant messaging. You hear the little whoop. Yep. You know. Hundred percent. And then the door close on you. I don't yeah. remember that. You didn't do it. I don't remember. No. I, I I grew up with. Little to no internet. That so. was like around when my yeah, like, I had dial up. My like older cousins were on AIM, but it was like two. It was like that's something that older kids do. Yeah, uh, I had one, but like I didn't really. I mean, just I never fucking, had one. Yeah, never um, had an AOL but account. Yeah, they tell a story about when Josh got Drake to come uh, volunteer at an old folks home with him. Yeah, yeah. the late they met a couple in their eighties, and the lady tried to cut Drake's hair because she, she thought, thought he was, he was a, hippie. a hippie. Yeah, and uh, the the husband was talking with his mouth full of uh, meatloaf he was and that's just not sanitary honestly yeah i know that <laughs> you know it's pretty gross <laughs> what well josh meatloaf. liked the old people drake hated the old people yeah josh yeah. likes to help out yeah. with people with stuff and drake is very Which much is uh, the theme of the episode i would say yes. that i'm uh, i'm in drake's camp i'm not a big old person fan <laughs> you know you're not I don't mind. I, don't, I would never want to work at an old folks I don't home. like their opinions. <laughs> oh, my God. Nah, no. Some people, some Stop. People They're allowed opinions. too many liberties. Nah, no. some, some have good opinions, but <laughs> well, I would what? rather hang out. The thing is, is old people that you have no relation to. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. It's, well, it's weirder. It definitely. There's, a, there's definitely a generation gap, some would say. And the, old, the husband, he, didn't, he was like, there's no reason Bonanza should have been canceled while spitting yeah. meatloaf on them. Yeah. You like Bonanza? I've seen a few episodes. You seen it? No, no. I don't even know what it's about. It's a western. What is it? <laughs> it's an old western TV show. Oh, okay. So it's on at my house every now and then. Dad, Dad will put it on. Yeah, Pop puts on it on occasion. Yeah, he cracks open a Miller Light. Oh, uh, Michel- Michelob Ultra at the moment. Michelob Ultra is what he's on. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, he's kind of going to Landshark and Stella because of um, those are too fancy for him. He's been going to him because it's like the other ones, it's just like this doesn't feel good after drinking them. Huh. But Landshark and Stella, something about him. He just feels a lot better after Maybe drinking. He feels him. more energy after that. Sure. Like the next morning, he immediately doesn't feel good. No, the same day. Oh. Yeah. Okay, right on. But it pretty much goes out of that into the credits. Um, and then we're in the classroom. Yes. After yeah. that, Josh comes in the classroom like, "Oh no, where's Drake? Where's Drake? Where's yeah, Drake?" Yeah. He tries to. Late. He tries to talk to the guy with his headphones on, music full blast. Headphone the, guy. For some reason, knew about Josh's rash. Yeah, he Jesus. gave him the ointment. Why would he give him? Yeah, he's like, man? how's that? He's his bud. How's that rash? That's weird. I don't know how it came up. 
Maybe J- maybe Josh like noticed that he had a rash too at one point. He was like, "Hey, I have a rash kind of like that." <laughs> they were in the locker room. What, yeah. They were sm- they, they were, were slapping ass. They were fucking completely <laughs> naked. He looked. The other guy looks over at the headphones. He's like, "Hey, I had a." He rash looks deep just- into his asshole and he's like, "Wait, is that is that a rash around here?" Is that here? an ash rash? That- I had an, a I've rash, got an ash rash just too. like it. Yeah. Do you want my old meds? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, yeah, I'll take that that medical ointment that I'll you probably need a prescription hand, for. That second hand ointment. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a prescription, but you know, fuck it. Yeah, because that's high school for you. So he's talks loud. <laughs> um, we uh, thought we wondered where Mindy was because she we don't see her in this episode. She, well, she, she gets in, mentioned once towards the end. Yeah. She now it has been at least three episodes where she hasn't been in because the movie counts as an episode. She wasn't in the movie. Yeah, I know. That's why I said oh. she, just can't, <laughs> she hasn't been Sorry. in three. The teacher threatens to sell headphone guys headphones on the internet. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't... Was she in what? Foam Finger? No. She wasn't in Paging Dr. Drake? No. She wasn't in Sheep Thrills? She was in Girl Power. She was in Girl Power? Yeah. I don't think she was. Oh, he was. Mindy's she was. parents it's, might be... Yeah, it's like a big plot gotta, line, bitch. Gotta be, she's gotta be in that one. I'm it's sorry, a, I forgot she it's was. It's a huge plot line. They go over to her house. Yeah. yeah, and they come over, and that's when the fight happens and all that. Okay, yeah. Sorry, it's been a while. And this guy thinks he can co-host a Drake and Josh centric you, podcast. Yeah. Please you, don't, please don't do that to me. <laughs> yeah. a I young, can. A young Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, yeah I was very about to. Young. That was my next note. Yeah. V Hudge. So, um, open mouth kisses Drake. Yes, open mouth kisses Drake because she distracts for what uh, thirty seconds. What's the teacher's name? Uh, Miss Miss Hafer. Miss Hafer. She distracts Miss Hafer for Drake to get back into class. Yeah, by making out with Miss Hafer. She no, no. Miss <laughs> Hafer goes to break up the lunch lady fight. She brings with a baseball, baseball bat. bat. Yeah, Jesus. baseball bat, full bat. She's about to crush heads. And then Drake comes back into the classroom. He's like, he's like, all right, cool. I'm gonna be able to make it, and the teacher's not gonna fucking see this shit. Now we find out Josh has a pathological un- a inability to tell lies, yes. and then he immediately disproves that later on. Yeah, he does at the we've, very end. Well, well, like you said, we've totally seen him lie before. No, absolutely. He's always had trouble lying. Maybe he the, just can't lie to her. When the plot dictates Josh can't lie, he can't lie. That's I, pretty much I think how it's, it works. I think it's just that he can't lie to Miss Hafer because, you know. He can't lie in, in class. He lied to, to her before. But he lied in class to, to the remedial English teacher at the end. He got over his lying in the <laughs> I guess, That's yeah. his character arc in this episode. I mean, it's a strong arc. He learns to lie for his brother. Lie. It's the strongest arc I've ever Some, seen. He learns that sometimes lying is the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah sometimes. You know. Every now and again. So um, we find out Drake was in remedial English last year. Yeah, he doesn't want to go back. Which the teacher's hogtied on the desk. Uh, there's <laughs> the guy brought his dog. A vicious... Dog named Cuddles. German Shepherd? It looked like a German Shepherd mix, German maybe. German Shepherd mix, yeah. Definitely sure. mostly German Definitely Shepherd. Yeah. The um, Barnaby sisters, the big titty goth girlfriends yeah. that were trying to make out with him. He doesn't like, like we, it though. He doesn't want it. No, they're he like, doesn't we want heard it you all. kiss good. It's see, like, who says that? We, no one they said, heard. They heard. It's probably heard. written on the, in the girls' bathroom. See, somewhere. Drake likes to be in control. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He also, like he just doesn't like goth no, chicks. He does not. He, likes he does pretty, not like to be dominated. He likes traditionally pretty chicks. He doesn't like goth chicks. Well, he likes early two thousands pretty chicks. Yeah. Goth, I guess, back then was not cool. No, it wasn't. Goth you is remember. Cool. Goth is cool You now. remember the, the goth people in that's well, cool. Well, those were real goth I people. I went to yeah. Catholic school. Now that, they're fake goth people. That insane there was no kid goth at people. our school. That, <laughs> the closest thing Didn't we he had he, like, to... staple himself or some shit? Which what one? the fuck? That crazy guy. William? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he was goth. Yeah, he, he was... had trap trip trip pants. Right, those pants with all the he fucking buckles insane. and shit. We had a crazy guy too, but he's he, so weird. I still, we're, I'm we still had, friends with him on Facebook. We had uniforms, so it's like no one could dress goth. No one could like. That's a shame. Be too goth. He was the only. I think he was the only one at the school that wasn't Catholic too. Did he? Did he dye his hair black? No. Did he wear eyeliner? He did like weird runic shit and like spells and stuff. He was a Wiccan. <laughs> he was fucking Wiccan. <laughs> I knew a Wiccan. I found out later. Some I knew of the, a Wiccan guy I found in high out, school. I realized later in life that some of the weird spells and stuff he was doing was stuff from Naruto. Oh. Because <laughs> I didn't know anything about it back then. And then I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like. You he, did become oh, an anime guy, didn't He's you? an OG weeb. He was an OG weeb. And he ran with the arms behind his back. Hmm. And he did like That's the weird like. Sh- 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 like That's dope. Can you fucking run like that? Yeah. yeah. The Naruto run. Yeah. Never watched Naruto. But I know enough about it through Gosh. osmosis. Yeah, but. I never watched any of that stuff. No, me neither. Um, but. So, basically, the teacher says, Drake, I'm going to have you look after this child because, like, this is going to give you responsibility, which is kind of an interesting decision. On yeah, it's part. an interesting dynamic. Yeah, I guess she ha- I think she has she has some sort of ties to this company, right? Her husband runs uh, part of her the... Her husband runs it. That's why he kept dropping it's them boys off. And Glo- it's basically the knockoff Boys and Girls Club of America. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess he's, like, one of the sponsors or something. Gerald is his name. 
Gerald. Yeah, he looked depressed. Good old Gerald. He looked upset. No, no, no. Yes, well, yes, yes. He, well, he knows that he's bringing <laughs> the children into a, into a delinquent's house. Yeah. He says, don't screw him up. Yeah. He also told <laughs> well, him. He, knows he still that, him, though. He knows that this is going to ruin the kid's life. I found this little boy. Take I'm him. Sh- yeah. He's yours now. I actually lost the one I was supposed to bring you. I found this one on the street, so here you go. Yeah. It was a dark thing. Um, so then the kid is just there, and then Drake tries to entertain him with tinfoil. Yes. A, 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 an and a broken car. car. With, no, with two wheels. And some coloring books, and that's about it. And um, Drake just, he's like, I just want to watch TV. And the kid's like, fucking play with me, bitch. And Drake doesn't want any part He doesn't want to. And then Drake gets a call from a girl. And, like, she's talking about her dream. And he tells yeah. her to talk slower. Where it's, like, pirates <laughs> and aliens. And, like, he, they're all named Drake. You know? It's really he's, more like a booty call, right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, hey, sure. hey, talk slower. Yeah. Um, so the kid leaves it because the kid doesn't, wanna, kid doesn't want to hear any of this disturbing content. Which, I don't um, blame him. He finds his way upstairs to Josh. Yeah, Josh is doing magic tricks. Dope magic. Yeah, milk magic. Um, he did. He makes milk disappear in his sleeve, and it goes down to his fucking socks. Well, that's like after the kid leaves, though. Yeah. But well, I'm just, I mean, he actually pulls off the trick perfectly while the kid's around. Yeah. Yeah. And the kid digs magic. It was impressive. Kid loves magic. Kid loves magic. He's a magic kid, which makes perfect sense for Josh. He's a magic man. He is. He always has been. Always. <laughs> <laughs> And then after that, fucking, I, I don't even know. I, I, Josh, I don't have any notes after Magic Milk. No, they go to the movie theater. <laughs> yeah, um, Drake and, takes the kid to the movie theater. Oh, to try to rate girls. Yeah, and he's yeah, not having rate, it. rate, rate girls. Yes, with a T. <laughs> okay, right. Um, and the, the, I heard rate. Did he say? I said rate. I don't know what I heard. T, T, Jacob. T. I did say that. I'm that time. I wasn't sure. <laughs> what? It's just the way you talk. I guess I don't huh? know. Rate. Yeah, stop got, saying that. that you gotta say it, with the T. I heard it right that time. Maybe because I don't, I don't put a big emphasis on the T. I don't know. Yeah, which is still demeaning. What? It's not right. We all do it, but it's not right. <laughs> I don't do it. I've never. I've never been to an outing where I'm just like giving people numbers. <laughs> yeah, like fair. No, I've never done that. Maybe internally. But internally. Even that. You're really. just like out with your boys, and you guys. That's all you're doing. What do you think about that one? That one. It's like an old ass lady. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, nine and a half. 90 years old perfect 10 <laughs> that's how you like him gilf style <laughs> um, one of the movies was called footless but footless. the but the oh, kid I didn't notice that the kid doesn't uh understand what's happening so he thinks that drake is assigning their ages yeah, he's, he's like, like, like a carnival older. game they're way older than nine yeah carnival yeah. guy um but then uh he goes to get a drink but he sees uh josh getting ready for work and josh is like hey I'm gonna look at a bunch of candy. Yeah, the kid's never seen candy in his life. He gives him a tour of the uh, the candy bar counter. The counter mm-hmm. with the smallest popcorn machine I have ever seen in my entire life. For a movie life. theater, yeah, it's like it would be like one you'd have at home. People for must novelty. always be waiting on popcorn to be popped. Constantly. Yeah, honestly, you can make like half a cup at a time with that thing. Yeah, you know, you worked in a movie theater. Yeah, pop- popping popcorn sucks. That's one you would have in your house or something. What yeah, were, what was your like position eccentric called? That's one you would have you're in like your a movie theater layout house. house. I feel like a house. Like if you want, if you're dedicated enough to have a popcorn machine in your house. You're gonna even have bigger than that, honestly. That's wow. just like wow. some That's weird little well, novelty you, bullshit. Unless you got it because your kids wanted one, then yeah, that then would you have be a little bullshit one. Now, have we seen the similarities between Megan and Drake a lot before this episode? Because we see it a lot in this one. No, no. I... Elaborate, I mean? sir. Well, you know they both they both make the same joke about uh, the Iron they Boob do. cooking show. Iron Boob, yeah. That's so yeah, Sam Drake the... or Josh and the kid are doing a cooking show. Yeah. They're hanging out. They're making um, chicken paillard for six. Yes. Um, Which it seems like a just a sautéed chicken recipe. Disgusting. Maybe. It looks like chicken and rice. Yeah. With some herbs. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. I couldn't really tell what was on the plate. It was hard to tell. It was chicken paillard for six. Chicken, yeah. rice, and I think I saw lemon slices on there. Definitely. There was some garnish. <laughs> this chair is really loud. Yeah, you're moving a lot. I'm trying not to. Stay, stay absolutely still. <laughs> We might have to get you a different chair after this. I'm thinking we're going to. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so, yeah, Megan leaves after making the iron boob comment and apparently just stands in the corner of the room. Yeah, she, like, watches and waits because there's nowhere, like, that doesn't go anywhere in the room. No, that's just the other side of the living room where the TV was, and she just walks out of there saying... Yeah. She was made, waiting. She knew. Made that joke. Maybe she's got, like, a hidden, like, um, tunnel system in the walls. I think that we established that at some point. We see that she has like a hidden thing behind a wall, right? Oh, well, in her room, kind yeah. of, yeah. 
Have we seen that already? That no. was yeah. That was during the um, pu- Peruvian Puff Pepper episode. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because it cuts to them doing the painting, right? They're painting in the at the end, like end credit sequence. They're repainting the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Classic. She's got a she's got a hidden room in her room, right? Uh, it's not like, a, no, it's just like a false wall, a compartment. Yeah, like with monitors and stuff on it. False walls, right? So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a room. Yeah, no, it's not. It's definitely a hidden. What do we got next? It's you know, Drake uh, realizes that he's getting screwed over because the kid likes Josh more, so he goes and confronts Josh to tell him to make the little boy cry and be a good person. Yeah, um, <laughs> which is I don't, very contradictory. I don't understand why. Josh is doing this to Drake. He knows that Drake's fucking like school shit is on the line. Well, Josh yeah, but finally has someone that thinks he's cooler than Drake. Yeah, who gives a fuck? He's like an eight year old kid, <laughs> you know. But it's someone because most kids <laughs> even think. Remember all the kids in Megan's class think he's a loser. They said too. he was kind of cool. Yeah, the last episode, kinda. almost or whatever. It was a kinda. Mm, that's true. It was almost cool. Yeah. So but still, he got he got a taste. Yeah, but like, like he a little, has a, he has ooh. a girlfriend. Like, and now this guy he just, thinks he's full on awesome. Sammy does. Yeah, Sammy thinks he's Why awesome. Why does he just hang out with Sammy Mindy? Worships, worships Josh. I'm sure Mindy point. does, too. Mindy worships Josh? I, worships his No, cock. Mindy is 100% <laughs> the man in the relationship. <laughs> I feel like... Despite, I feel like the, despite the agreement they had at the start of the relationship where he gets to be the guy. Listen, I know <laughs> Josh... <not>. I think <laughs> Drake, Drake likes to be in charge of the, you know, dynamic Josh, of, Josh of is his submissive. But Josh likes to be dominated. Yeah, he loves it. 100%. Yeah, 100%. I think Mindy's into that shit, though. Oh, for sure. Mindy is definitely, like, there's some weird leather straps and stuff going on. and That's pretty dope. Josh is getting pegged, 100%. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Josh is 100% getting pegged. They're in high school, Trevor. <laughs> People do that. That's when you... That's in high school? <laughs> the start of your blossoming sexuality is in high school, right? Some people. Some Not people. mine. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, me either, I guess. Well, kind of. <laughs> right. I don't know. Anyways. So Drake ends up faking an illness to... Uh, no, he, first, first, Let's before we get ahead of ourselves, he ATV. drives into the movie theater on an oh, ATV. No, that he got from me. Yeah, Trevor. Oh, yeah. He said he got it from his friend Trevor. I guess he just um, borrowed it. And yeah. so then the kid hops on after uh, him and Josh were doing this like soda test to see if he could guess the sodas. He take the, um, the, the he was really good at it. What the fountain of many sodas or yeah. something like that, whatever he, he, Josh called it. So this it. kid's laying on the counter with a with a roll of paper towels as a pillow, <laughs> and Josh is squirting soda into his mouth. Well, Josh is supposed to be working, and getting it all over his neck and face. It's like yeah, fuck it. The kid's sticky. The He's kid sticky is very though. sticky after that. Kids are always sticky. That's true. true. Uh, and then jo- That's Drake why. drives in with the four wheeler out of nowhere. Yeah. He goes in from the he comes he comes in, in the main the entrance. Theaters. No, in from the theaters. That's, that, that's where the theaters are. Oh, okay. He comes he goes, in from the, I mean, that's that's a generic entrance. I thought that was the main yeah, entrance. Yeah, I know, but the that's where they go. People I go thought, in and out of that area for theaters and or the entrance all the time. For everything, so it's crazy. everything. Okay. And then I guess the lobby's in a weird area in this theater. Yeah. They might have the lobby in the middle of all the theaters. Either way, mm. he comes in the and one side. you walk side. past theaters to get to the lobby. Maybe. That, to there's buy no t- fucking way. To buy tickets. You just, you, no the entrance way. is just a hallway. Yeah. <laughs> With the theaters that you yeah. that you have to go back to. Yeah, you yeah. have to go have back to and pay and then, re- and then get your ticket. Nah, no, no one no. said this was a well-designed theater. Um, but then he exits through... Um, the other way. Yeah, whatever. But we just hear the, the, the motor fade away. So it's like he drives off. <laughs> just drives in a straight line into a wall. I assume someone just held the door for him and he went through. And he also got him two tickets to the sold out magic show. Blaine Darby. Blaine yeah, where Darby. He, where he can turn a fucking sheep inside out. And he does. It's very gory. Yes. Yeah, that up. would be absolutely fucking insane. Yeah, you guys ever been to a magic show? Yeah. You know? You have? Wait. I never have. Have I? I've never been to like a full-on magic throw at a theater. No. Yeah, you know what? No, no I haven't. Not. I thought I had, but I hadn't. I've just never seen, seen one of those celebrity music- magicians. No. no, I remember back in the day, though, when uh, David Blaine was doing that underwater thing where he was just holding his breath, and it was on TV. It was like a big TV event. It's such a weird thing. Do you story. remember that? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why was that a TV event? I don't know. I would see Penn and Teller. Now he's gone. Penn and, Teller, Penn and Teller's great. Have you seen Penn and Teller? Um, Bullshit, the show? Fool Us or whatever? Fool Me? Nah. Where like magicians, nah. magicians come on and they have to like fool them, and if they can fool them, they win like a bunch of money or oh, something. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I mean they're the guys that are like always like we're doing magic, like it's not real, but we're not going to tell you how we do it. That's isn't thing. that all magicians? Well, yeah, mo- some magicians are like I'm actually magic. Right? Oh, because they are. I assume. Are, do they say that still? Maybe they're, not. They're, <laughs> they're wearing like a wizard's hat. Everybody's conceded at this point that it's sleight of hand. 
They totally, yeah. That's what you think? No, they're totally magic. 100%. I mean, it's all just sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah it is. But so, then like, Drake fakes the illness. He tranks, fakes pancreas troubles. Yeah, pancreas troubles. After he watches the cooking video. Yeah. That Josh was watching creepily in his room by yeah, himself. Yeah, because he walked in on Josh fucking watching it. Jerking off. <laughs> but he wasn't doing that. Josh was uh, just getting his heart warmed. He was reminiscing. Yeah, he was like, I remember when Sammy thought I was cool. Fuck. Like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then so Josh, Drake fixed the illness so Josh can take him to the magic show. And then happens to overhear that Drake was faking the illness. Yeah. Because Megan's like, hey, why did you fake an illness? Yeah, what did Sammy leave the house at that point already? Yeah, yeah I guess Sammy's he was in the already car. Out. And then Sammy's Drake, in the car. Josh came back in to get his jacket, I think, or something. Oh, yeah, because okay. it's going to be cold. Yeah. Well, San Francisco gets cold at night. <laughs> you would I think just assumed that's where they are. I, right? I assumed uh, San Diego. San Diego. I assumed um, arenas are just cold usually. You would think Josh would ask Sammy to like lie and be like, "Hey, can you say Drake's really cool? Because he is. I. It's just, can you help me out as your friend? No, help my brother. Yeah, and then he would have been like, "That's lying." Hey, Sammy doesn't understand that level of complication. Come on, you're <laughs> yeah. a child. Exactly. Yeah. Just basically, somebody just to- walked up to him and and they asked, "Who's the cooler one?" And they said, and he said, "Josh." He does like Oprah though, Sammy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so that's fucking weird for a kid that young to be into Oprah. It's yeah, kind of well, weird, right? Maybe. Is that just me? Am no, I, just... I mean it definitely is weird. You know, it's weird if Josh is into Oprah too, though. Mm. Mm. Starting to get into the age where it's all right. I mean, o- Oprah was, you know, it was Oprah compelling. was a worldwide phenomenon. It was compelling. Okay. My mom used to watch it a lot. Interesting. So I never watched Oprah. Well, I feel like it's a thing that moms would watch. Yeah, oh yeah. Jake's Josh isn't a mom. She used to watch. Sammy's think about it. She used to watch Ellen. She used to watch Oprah and Doctor Phil. Josh is very much a mom type. Doctor Phil's great. Sure. Josh, Josh would be the guy that's yeah. staying at home and like takes the kids to soccer practice and brings like the orange slices. Did you guys see that picture that Dr. Bill posted where he said it, where he's like, it's t-shirt time and he's just wearing a t-shirt? No. <laughs> and people keep like, it was just a black t-shirt. So people keep like photoshopping different t-shirts on there. Like shirts like that just say like, this is what a gamer looks like. And he's just like. One of those really bad ones. It's like yeah, it's like I'm one close of, to leveling up, and you like just look like just enough XP or some bullshit. Yeah, it's like, like dumb that. shirts you'd see at like Walmart or whatever. I fucking hate those. <laughs> That's a pretty good meme that was going around for a couple weeks. I don't remember that one. You see so many memes. I at do work. see a lot of memes. No. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, so Josh Drake does get sent to. He does. Remedial, Remedial English. English, unfortunately. And this time, the teacher's hanging from the ceiling by his legs. Yeah, swaying like a like a pendulum. Mm-hmm. Dog's still in there. Goth girls are still in there. Yeah. You think Fight they would have quit school by now? They're above sixteen. There's can, a there's a prison. Out, right? there, there's somebody. There's a prison escapee. Yeah. There. There's a girl straight up in her prison garb in the background. Yeah. I didn't notice her. It was blue prison garb, so it wasn't orange, but okay. it was it was definitely like prison scrub type thing. Blues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that was pretty much the episode. Uh, oh, no, because after that, uh, uh, Josh lies right. and gets uh, Drake out of their remedial English class. Which all he tells people, the teacher that uh, the principal needs him. All these students are really in there on their own accord because they, I mean, they... They've tied up the, the teacher. They can leave. Right. Yeah, but they didn't. But he still is somehow has power. Yeah, well, they want to be marked at, you know, they want to be marked there. That's all they need. They it just, need to, it's nonsense. Yeah. It's all attendance-based. It's 100% yeah. nonsense. Attendance <laughs> equals an A. Um, but Why would he ever mark them as present? They tied him up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're still there. He can't lie. They like, were here. Um, so who do you guys want to shout out? Sammy? <sighs> who played Sammy? I know you guys didn't like him. <laughs> yeah. Um, who was Sammy? Jordan Wright. Jordan Wright. Oh, Jordan what? Wright. Look at him now. There he is. He yeah. looks the same. He was in fucking Dream Girls. Yours, mine, and ours. <laughs> he was in Grey's Anatomy. Go back to it. I just want to see who, who that is that who you're shouting out? I guess so, sure. All right. Um, I'm yep. going to shout out. Sorry, this one. Uh, Who's the guy that got tied up? Oh, yeah. Where's that teacher? Maybe Randy Ratter. Oh, how about him. Mr. Hafer, though? Jerry LeKay? Lacey, Lacey, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Jerry Lacey? LeKay. <laughs> All right, that's that's our shout outs. That's um, Jerry. La- you didn't do yours. I did. I said I shouted out Randy Ratter because I think that's the guy. And Vanessa Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens definitely for the guest starring. Um, so, what do you rate the episode, Kurt? Um, uh, 
I rated the last one 6.75. Yeah. I guess I'll rate this one 6.5. It's pretty similar. Right on. What about you, Trev? You go first this time. I'm the first last time. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Really? Yeah, that's one point lower than my last one. I was going so with... when I look up It's T-Shirt Time, I'm seeing a lot of shit from the Jersey Shore. Nah, look, up, nah. look up Dr. Phil. No, uh, I'm going to give it... See him there. There he is. <laughs> yeah, there he is. I'm going to give it a 4 <laughs> out of 10, Quattlers. You're going 4 out of 10? Wow. Is that your lowest rated episode? <laughs> it might be. It's not the worst one I've ever seen, but I'm rating it 4 because that's what I feel like right now. Right on. This system is very flawed. Yeah, it's very <laughs> flawed. I mean, I'm never going to remember. We never remember what we rated anything else. Um, you know what? 4.5. <laughs> fuck it. No, you gave it a 4.5. 4. It's 4.5 right, now. Um, okay. um, anybody right. got anything else? Um, we could have shouted out the twin girl. Uh, I assume that's one of the Barnaby sisters, right? Annab- Annabelle uh, Mine or Milne? Twin right. girl number one there? Who's, yeah. Who's right girl? on. What does she look like now? Okay. There oh, she is. whoa. She was born in 1970. She was older. How, for... what, what the fuck year was Drake born? He wasn't born in 1970, right? <laughs> no. He would have. That, that means she, she was like 36 when this aired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was definitely one of the goths, right? She looked yeah. young. Look at 86. Him. 86. 16 years older than Drake. <laughs> wow. Jesus, um, that's a little creepy. But that's pretty much the episode, guys. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, and catch us on the next episode and go watch some Drake and Josh.